Howdy WTFers, today's exploration continues. We're going to take a look at something that a lot of you might have eaten, but I bet a ton of you have not handled, mussels. Today's sponsor is East Shore Specialty Foods, and you can check them out online at eastshorefoods.com. East Shore Foods started out in 1986 by making a delicious mustard that they still make today. And quickly after making this mustard, they said, well, we need to come up with something that people can dip into the mustard for product demonstrations. So they came up with pretzels. This is the mustard, and these are the pretzels. And these two babies were like a match made in heaven. People did not want to separate them, and boom, the business blew up, and one product supported the other. Today they have multiple varieties of pretzels and multiple varieties of mustard that are great to dip your pretzels in, but are also really great for cooking, which you will see in today's WTF. You can check them out online at eshorefoods.com, and they're going to give a promotion to you guys. If you place an order of $25 or more from now until the end of July, they're going to ship it to you for free. Just use the code RJUL11 in the comments at the time of checkout and you will get your shipping for free. Check them out online at eshorefoods.com. So today we're talking about mussels, those edible little bivalves that you'll find at French bistros all around France and all around the world, really. And they are, in fact, one of the oldest foods and oldest species in the world. Mussels are prehistoric. They go back before people and people have been eating them for about 4,000 years. They've been cultivated, you know, they've been farmed for about 900 of those 4,000 years. And today, there are about 4 billion pounds of mussels that are cultivated each year. So just like oysters, mussels are bivalves. They generally have these dark black shells that hinge open to reveal some delicious meat inside. Now the meat can come in two colors and those two colors actually signify the sex of the animal. If the mollusk has a sort of an orange color to it, it is a female, and if it has a white color to it, it is a male. It doesn't really matter when I'm eating them because they all taste the same, they're equally delicious. And another interesting thing about them, whether they're male or female, they all have beards. Really, they have beards. Beards stick out of the side of their shells and they help the mussels cling on to different surfaces to grow and for support. But before you cook them, you remove the beards, unless you like hipster mussels. And unlike clams or oysters, mussels are generally never eaten raw. I think some cultures in Africa eat them raw, but on the whole, they're usually cooked. They're boiled or steamed or baked or broiled or put on the grill. However you cook them, they're delicious. Fun fact, during World War II, mussels were a major, major part of the American diet because meat, especially red meat, was so heavily rationed. So when you go out to buy your bag of mussels and when you go home to inspect them, you want to make sure that they are all clean, that they are not cracked, they are either closed tightly or if they're slightly open, you can kind of pinch them together and they'll close back up. If they are cracked, throw them away. If they are wide open, throw them away. They are dead. You do not want to cook up dead mussels and eat them because you will get sick. So today we're going to use some of Eshore's mustard to make a mool mustard dish, which is basically just mussels with some mustard and white wine sauce. In a heavy bottom pan, melt four tablespoons of butter, and to that add two minced garlic cloves, one minced up shallot, a palmful of minced tarragon, a palmful of minced parsley, and stir that together. Then add some salt and pepper. Add a tablespoon of mustard, I'm using East Shore's coarse mustard with dill. Uh, I like the dill in there, but I just kind of like the acidity and sweetness of the mustard as a whole. It worked really well in the dish. Then add a few glugs of white wine and let this simmer for a few minutes. Then add a little bit of cayenne and a little bit of paprika. Meanwhile, rinse the mussels under cold water and scrub them if necessary. Pull off and discard any beards that you see. Now bring your broth to a simmer over high heat, add your mussels, and cover them to cook for about two minutes. Finally, toss in some extra parsley and serve. This goes really well with some nice crusty bread that you can use to uh, sop up all the delicious muscle juice love that is at the bottom of your plate. Tune in tomorrow for another What's This Food? Check out our sponsor, eshorefoods.com. And if you have something you want me to cover, you can post it in the comments below. And iTunes subscribers, I need your help. I need a big round of comments to kind of boost our traffic on iTunes. See you tomorrow.